hello friends so now we are going to create login page so first of all you can see our folder is open now I am going to create new page new PHP file and we are going to name index because this is our main page that's why so you can see we have now index.php now we are going to copy code from this login.html so I am going to copy these all things and I am going to paste here yeah so now first of all we are going to check we got this page or not so here I am going to open localhost and index.php so you can see we got this page now here we don't need create account button because user is going to create it by admin so we don't need here so we are going to change that I am going to delete this yeah and here you can see this is the a type submit for this login so here we are going to check and I am going to write here input type submit this is not needed name submit one and then we are going to write here value value login and we are going to remove this link yeah now we are going to check again yeah you can see this button is deleted and we can see here login now I am going to remove this span class also here also we are going to remove span class yeah now here I am going to give center tag yeah this is fine and we can try to make with larger little bit called LG sits okay it is not supported here don't worry we don't need to increase the width okay we can keep with this width now first of all we need here a form tag so we are going to check we have form tag or not yeah we have form tag we don't need this id so i'm going to delete this we need name form one and we need action is empty and we are going to use method post yeah now we are going to login using username and password so here placeholder is already username but we need to give your name so i'm going to give name username and here we are going to give name password okay that's fine now here we are going to write is set for button click event if is set dollar underscore post here I am going to write submit one and for testing I am going to write here only echo testing okay yeah now I am going to click here and you can see we are getting testing okay it means our button is working proper yeah now we need to create database so now we are going to open php my admin and we are going to create new database database name is php underscore ims create now i am going to create here table user underscore registration and we are going to take here seven fields so i am going to take here seven and here we are going to take now id integer then here five and we are going to take here a primary key so i am going to take here primary key and here i am going to take auto increment then we need here first name so i am going to take here first name then here we are going to take last name then we are going to take username then we are going to take password then we are going to take your role 
role means admin or user and then we are going to write here status here we need wear care so i am going to take here wear care here also wear care here also wear care and here also we are going to take wear care 50 50 50 50 role user or admin so we need 10 character here also 10 character and now we are going to save yeah this user is going to enter by admin but right now we don't have admin panel that's why we are going to enter one record from here directly password i am going to write one two three role user and i am going to write status active yeah and go okay so now we have this entry and now we can write here code so first of all we need to create one connection file so here i am going to add a new file name connection here i am going to write dollar link is equal to mysqli underscore connect and here i am going to write localhost here i am going to write root then mysqli underscore select underscore db here i am going to take dollar link and here we need to give our database name so php underscore ims and yeah here you can write like this or die mysqli underscore error dollar link so if you are getting any error then you can get proper message of your error that's why we can write here or die yeah that's fine now here we are going to include that file in this index file it is a one kind of our login page so here include then connection.php okay now we are going to refresh this page and we are going to check we are getting any error or not yeah we are not getting any error so now we can write our login code dollar res is equal to mysqli underscore query dollar link and here we can write our select query select star from user underscore registration where username is equal to and password is equal to here i am going to take two variable username is equal to mysqli underscore real escape stream we are going to use this function because if you are going if any user going to write uh, any vulnerable value then it will remove that for security purpose we are going to use this underscore post username again here we are going to take password and here we are going to save that from password yeah so here we can pass now dollar username and here we are going to pass dollar password here i am going to take one variable dollar count is equal to zero then dollar count is equal to mysqli underscore number of rows and then dollar res and i am going to print this dollar count so here i am going to write first correct value like amit amit123 and i press enter you can see we found one record now i am going to write any other value which is not available in table then we are getting zero value you can see so here also one more thing we are going to pass and that is and status is equal to active so if we are getting greater than zero value in count it means we found proper value inside our table otherwise we need to give error so here if dollar count greater than zero otherwise we are going to else count greater than zero it means this is perfect so here we can forward on 
or another page after login page here i am going to write script type text javascript window.location is equal to demo.php otherwise here we need to give proper error message so for that we are going to use bootstrap alert message so here you can find bootstrap alert message and we can open this link w3 school link and here we are going to use these things means this one so i am going to copy that and i am going to paste here and here we can write our message invalid username or password or a crown blocked by admin yeah we can type this type of message so here yeah you can see we are getting this type of message now we are going to write here threat username password and now i am going to login you can see we are forwarded our demo page so this way we can create our login page i am going to check again yeah this is working proper if i click directly then also it is working so for that we need to write here required required and here also we are going to write required so now i am going to click here so we are getting this message please fill out this form so this way you can create login page for php inventory management system thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again